Yo, what up, dude? What's going on? So I, I bit the bullet and bought a drone, like the same one that you have. The same one, the Mavic Pro? Yeah, the Mavic Pro. I got a fly more kit with it and everything. Um, nice. Have you taken out yet? Uh, just a little bit. Is there anything I should probably think of, considering you've had yours a lot longer? Your worst enemy, your trees and power lines. So before you start steering it, just go straight up as high as you can. And it's like literally nothing can happen. All right. So as long as I keep it above the trees. As long as you, that's the one rule you have to follow. Above the trees. That's the one thing you have to remember. Okay. I'll, I'll keep it above the trees. Yeah. All right, cool. Above the trees. That, that's it. All right, man. Well, I'm about to head out and I'll uh, check you later. Good luck, man. All right. Thanks. All right. Later. Over the past year and a half, I've visited Asheville at least three to four times a month, and I think I'm gonna make the permanent move to be a resident. So we are here dog sitting for Bobo, and we're gonna go to Bailey for a certain reason. And that reason is gonna be that I got a new bike. And I didn't just get any type of bike. The type of bike I got, a little different. Maybe got a little more travel, a little more cushion. So not quite new whip, it's a used downhill bike. But before we go, I have a Grom race I'm organizing. Surprise, surprise, we're in the track again. Finally going to use a downhill bike at a downhill park. Woo, stay tuned. So we're just gonna hop right to it. This is an entry-level downhill bike. It's got level LT brakes on it, which are more like XC brakes, not downhill brakes. And this is a single speed, so we're gonna worry about shifting. It's a size large, a 63 degree head tube angle with rock shocks components. Oh, first trail on the downhill bike. It's definitely very much more forgiving. You know, you're, you're able to smash through a lot. There's a lot of clacking going on. You hear it on the video or not, but the frame is definitely filling the clack. I'm not sure where they went, but this is blue DH. Yeah, the, this bike can definitely take a beat. About to start raining and get nasty. Oh my God, guys, like I'm sliding through this. This downhill bike is just eating it up. Meet Guy, he's the bronze of the park. While Jen, she's the brains. Above the trees, that's the one thing you have to remember. So we're at the top of the black trail. I'm gonna follow Brock down on the downhill bike and hopefully he doesn't drop me, but we all know he's gonna drop me. But it's at least worth a shot at trying on the downhill bike. I think I really enjoy how much the, the downhill bike will go ahead and eat and you can push it. Just run over a bunch of stuff. Also it can get you in trouble. I definitely feel like I wanna get at least matching brakes I have on my Bronson, the Code R's, but this guy's gonna upgrade. That's what your friends do. They upgrade and they pass down the nice gear to you because you're cheap. But this is the, uh, the $500 downhill bike I bought from a guy. So budget downhill mountain bike for 500 bucks what do you think you'll send it it'll work it'll work okay so this is a spot where i was mixed up before about what he did here which is much better i think the bike just heats up this shit yeah, this is Brock. Brock's a really good rider. And he's like, oh, you're on the black trail? School. Let's go down to F4 in the 50 foot jump, too. See, this is the type of friend you need, though. You need a guy that's willing to push and do whatever. It really goes to show for better pro uh, progression. You'll get better. Let's go. I won't hurt you. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? I won't hurt you. Fucking <laughs> liar. <laughs> The bike has definitely got something to rear in that's uh, making a lot of chatter. I'm not sure what that is, but. Oh, oh I 
that's a tight one. The rocks are like three or four turns ahead of me. We haven't even done anything yet. That's not bad of a drop. I probably should do that one. Ooh, downhill fishing. Okay, here's the run up, as you guys know, to the step down that I did. So what do you think? You're gonna go? You gonna, gonna go for the big one, of course? Yeah, I haven't done it yet today, but whatever. I'm not gonna go for it, I'm just not, I'm not one of I can see a huge advantage of downhill bike, dude. Like, just substantially, like. <laughs> Imagine riding this fucking thing, dude. It's stupid. Yeah, I wish it was a large. This thing is so long and so stable. The suspension's amazing. I'm not spending the money on it. I mean, I bet another, a, a nice shock on here would do me a lot of good. A, a ton, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's go, man. Let's do it. First day on the downhill budget bike. Oh my God, that's way faster. Sorry guys, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's when I ate crap on last time. Rock landed 13th in the open class at the Southeast downhill. So if he's sliding, it's pretty off camera guys. Okay. Oh my God. Hey guys, that was actually a step that I'd never done before. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, look at that, he's doubling off that shit. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and he just did this giant thing. I'm not doing that. I'm down for a break. Man, that was pretty good. The first one, I think I gotta, I think I'll go for those double back to back. the trees is the one thing you have to remember well we all knew i was going to wreck this drone i'm all the way at the base of the mountain and i have just lost signal and control of the drone so i just lost uh the drone on the top of the black trails uh so i need to go try to fetch and retrieve it so we're headed up the beeping in the background is the drone We'll see about how that all goes down. So I just lost my drone up the very top. So I was waiting for the shuttle to come down. So now I've got to get special gate code to go find my drone at the very top. <laughs> Hope it's still there, flying, idled, not in a million pieces. See up top. So this is my first drone adventure um, as far as getting, uh, losing the drone. So let's hope uh, the last spot it was in I uh, just stayed still and it's mapped everywhere I've been inside the app so so down parts uh being reckless with your drone everybody's gonna say I shouldn't have done this but I did I flew into some trees and crashed it the drone has some broken propeller tips that are broken off I had a couple extra what is it snapped where's it at where's it at oh yeah this one snapped clean there so that's trashed both of these are trashed. So what happened with the drone, I lost signal and crashed, and then I got a nice digger to it right here, and now the camera won't work anymore. The drone flies great. Recap of the day, we got a budget downhill bike that works great, now it's set up, and we just crashed a thousand dollar drone. I'm trying to be silly. Let's hope it's a simple camera fix, like reset, or like a little bit. Of the, the drone itself works great, so it's just the camera. So the, the camera's just not sending signal. So, sorry Mr. Drone. Got a couple flights in. We all knew I was gonna break the drone. Come on. I get a crazy deal on that bike. Not gonna deny it. Similar bikes in the same condition. Probably gonna be worth something like five shitty friends throwing rocks at you while you're trying to do your video. Sorry, pieces of um, Probably like $1,500 is probably the value of that bike. Uh, we're doing some upgrades onto it. 
still had a blast and really really happy that I got a downhill bike. I'm hopefully going to talk Bobo into getting one as well. So just trying to kill that. These guys are so nice. They're throwing rocks at me. They're throwing rocks at me behind my back. Not even to my face. Behind my back. Remember, <laughs> pedal a little harder. Don't touch the brakes. And we'll see you on the next adventure.